Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have something different. Uh, our There was a local community near us that was having a big yard sale. And so we happened to have a little extra time yesterday, so we popped it in. And I'm so glad that we did because we found all kinds of fun treasures. So first, this was one stop. And this lady had all of these little girls' dresses out on a table. And it was they were all labeled as $1.00. And I asked her, I said, if I buy a bunch of these, will you make me a deal? And she said, yeah. And I was like, okay, because all of these are 40 and they're all long sleeved, just fun patterns and colors and that kind of thing. And these are my favorite thing for my youngest who is four to wear um, around the house, to town, to church. So some of these, the ones that are in like slightly rougher shape, um, I will put in play clothes and then the ones that are in better shape that I'm not seeing any stains or anything like that on will leave in, in good clothes. And then she has really nice quick and easy dresses to either play or go to town in. So there are eight of these long sleeved ones, two of these short sleeved ones. This one is a 5T. This one, I think, yeah, it was a 5T as well. Um, so those, I will probably go ahead and have her just wear them. I like the dresses to be a little on the longer side. Um, we wear, my daughters and I wear skirts and dresses all the time. Um, personal religious conviction. Um, and, uh, so I like the dresses to be a little bit longer, especially the ones for at home. I don't mind if they're a little shorter because that makes them easier to play in. But if we're going to town, I prefer them to be just a little bit longer. Um, but then these three also were larger sizes. Uh, this is a six, seven. This one is a unique tag. I'm not sure what that stands for. If you know, because I'm not seeing any more tags anywhere else there. Um, I think that's probably a European size. I held it up to her and it looks like it would fit her about now. So I will probably just do it this fall. And then this one is also a 6'7 and a cute just little peasant style. It did have one small stain on it. Um, and I'll try to get that out, but it kind of looks like it's probably ink. So I don't know that it's going to come out. But So that is a total of um, 13 dresses. And she gave them to me for eight bucks. And I was like, yep, that'll work. Because that's less than a dollar a piece um, by far. And I was like, yeah, that that's a good deal to me. So got all those. Now I'm going to put these away and then I'll bring out the next stuff. Okay, the next place we stopped, I picked up this little dress. It was, um, I think, $2.00. Yeah, I think it was two dollars. It was it was either two dollars or one dollar, and it is just a nice fancy. Um, would make a good Christmas dress to wear to church. I mean, we wear it more than just once, but um, I just thought it was really pretty and not in bad shape. It's got this little area here where the stuff has either worn off or something, but not a big deal. They're not going to be looking at the back of the dress as much as the front of the dress, but I just thought it was cute. It almost looks like poinsettias. Uh, and then we picked up three books. One of them has, has already been stolen away. Uh, the one was just a book on Johnny Appleseed, had cute pictures, and um, was a book that we didn't have um, a story of Johnny Appleseed. So this one was one that I thought looked really neat and picked it up. The kids' books were, the paperbacks were um, four for a dollar. So we got both of these for 25 cents. Um, so it was a, like a find the difference book, but they're really high quality pictures and just really interesting. Um, they're, they're hard. They're not an easy, uh, find, but they do have the answer key in the back. Um, so that'll be nice, but we've already been perusing through that one. Uh, I spotted this one and said, hey, my oldest needed to come look at it because she likes the Nancy Drew book books and she has a couple of friends that like the Nancy Drew books as well. This was $2 um, and it's really cool. Um, I'm not sure how old it is. The copyright goes back as, as late as 1930 and as recent as 2007. But it's still in really good shape, and as far as we can tell, all the pieces are there. So it has a bunch of, like, lift flap, this unties... Um, this spins, 
um, it's got like it's just some like really neat little things like copying her signature um, and it each page goes along with one of the books so when we got home we looked and we only have two of the books that are in here but it's um, the Nancy Drew books are written in third person so they're written like someone's watching what Nancy Drew is doing this um, is like her personal journals of what she finds and like how she solved the crimes. So um, I, I think the way that it's meant to be used is that you read the book and then you come back and look through this to see um, all the things that she did. Oh, it's a fl flipping license plate. That's cool. Um, so yeah, it just looked really interesting. My oldest has already been perusing through it and we've already talked about um, when she's done with it and has read all of these um which I know our library has some of them, so maybe we can find some more of them. Um, but then also um, using the Libby app, which is the free library app, uh, maybe we can find some more. But she is, we've already discussed, when she's done with it, maybe she can pass it on to a friend of hers. Um, and I know my mom read Nancy Drew when she was a kid. So uh, we may also have Mamaw take a look through this because I think she'll like it. So just thought that was a really neat um, book for as potentially old as it is. It's in near perfect condition. I mean, there's some of the things like that one that's a little bent, but um, not that big of a deal. So yeah, really neat book. Anyway. All right, next. Okay. Last round. I found this skirt. It is a beautiful flowy skirt um, in this nice um, orangey color. And I got it for $3. This shirt was just neat looking, and it's a larger shirt. Um, my oldest son is 12, and um, so I'm kind of making sure that I'm starting to accumulate some things for when he gets a little bit bigger. We have some friends give us hand-me-downs, but anytime I see something that is good quality and in good shape, I go ahead and pick it up, and he said he liked this one. It looked neat. Um, it was a dollar. I picked up two pair of frilly topped socks for my youngest at 50 cents each. And then all three of these um, men's shirts are, this one's Union Bay and these two are L.L. Bean, which is a nice, decent clothing company. Um, these were all $2 a piece and they are in perfect condition and they're super soft. Liked the colors, liked the design, like the cut of them and everything. This one um, has a hood and it's super comfy. I actually put it on and it fits me. Um... So once again, those are for starting to accumulate some things for my older boy as we get closer and closer to, I just have this sneaky suspicion he is going to hit like some massive growth spurt at some point in the near future. Uh, my kids also picked up a couple of things. Um, just some random things, nothing major, but they paid for it out of their money. So in total, we spent, <sighs> hang on just a second, let me redo the math in my head. I had the number. Okay, went back and looked at my notes. We spent under $22 uh, for everything. So, yeah, totally, totally pleased with that because I know that, like, even just those little girl dresses, just to buy a few of them probably would have been that much. Probably two, three, maybe four max brand new. And they looked brand new. They all look really great. So, yay. It's always fun to go yard sailing. I'm, yeah, I'm excited about everything that we got. I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel like we got gypped on anything or got something home and it didn't work or you know those kind of things which mostly what we got was clothes uh it was the last day of the sale and we went like the last few hours so there wasn't a whole lot left but it's when it worked for us so all right have you guys been yard sailing yet um it's a little early in some places and other areas it's full force so let me know i love a good yard sale deal <laughs> so all right thanks for watching this i hope you have a great day goodbye and god bless